Judy, Judy, Judy. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Okay, okay. How do you define perfect? Plan was to look dead like this. <coughs> All clear? Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another foundation and concealer review and this time around, we're even gonna take it forward with the wettest. I hate doing wettest because I have to keep the makeup on for a very, very long time on my face and I usually like to just take it right off. This deserves it. Today we're going to be talking about the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and Concealer and I've been dying to get my hands on this because the foundation range extended recently thanks to Jackie Aina and they've got all of those in-between shades which we love, especially us Indian brown girls because we never get our undertones, our exact shade because we are always in between. Now I bought this online. Having said all of this about finding that exact match and everything, I hope that this matches me. Yeah, anyways, let's take this puppy out. Oh my gosh, I love this. The bottle is so heavy. It's glass, don't drop it. Oh my gosh, I'm so clumsy. Like I'm already scared if I'll break this bottle. Uh, got a nice plastic cap and a pump and everything. Wow, the packaging is beautiful. Oh, it's oil free. It says undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. It has coconut water to aid in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels. You know what I've noticed? In all of Too Faced products, they have something from the nature that's gonna benefit your skin as well. Alpine Rose to help brighten and boost skin's radiance and Hyaluronic Acid for a smoother, more youthful appearance. What? So it's got a little bit of skincare right there. This oil-free foundation masterfully diffuses the lines between makeup and skin. Ooh, coverage so undetectable and skin so naturally flawless, they'll think you were born this way. Ooh, I love it, I love it. Okay, okay. Hydrating, long-wearing, photo-friendly, non-comedogenic. 100% people said this foundation blurred their imperfections. Oh, oh we shall see about that. And 100% people said this foundation made their skin look absolutely perfect. How do you define perfect? This foundation definitely is not on the cheapest side. It costs 29 pounds, 40 US dollars and about 18 dinars in Kuwait. And the concealer, which we will talk about very soon, costs $29 and about 9 Kuwait dinars. Let's do it this way. On this side, we'll apply it with a flat top kabuki brush and on this side, we'll use the beauty blender. Okay, let's take one pump and see. Doesn't have any smell. Looks okay, but it seems to be a little bit more on the yellow side. I'm not applying any primer. I've already got my skincare on. We're still working with that one pump, guys, and this actually pretty much worked for our entire face. The beauty blender gave a little bit more sheerer coverage and the brush gave a little bit more fuller coverage. I don't think I need to go with a second layer of foundation at all. I think this is enough. Right off the bat, it feels very, very comfortable on the skin, but I know I have foundation on my face. It's not like one of those water weightless foundations, but um, my skin looks like skin. It's not cakey. My skin still has a little bit of shine. It's not dewy. It's not matte. It's somewhere in between, which is what I guess what they mean by a natural finish. I actually really like it. All right, let's go on to read what's on the packaging of the Born This Way Concealer. And in the meanwhile, the foundation has time to set on my face. Super coverage, multi-use, sculpting concealer. Conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. The biggest concealer package that I have so far is the Tarte Shape Tape. And here is the Too Faced one in comparison. Here is Colourpop Concealer in comparison. And the Huda Beauty Concealer in comparison. And the concealer comes with 15 ml product. Whereas the Tarte Shape Tape comes with 10 ml product. The concealer has the Coconut Water, Alpine Rose, and Hyaluronic Acid as well. It's also supposed to be hydrating, long-wearing, photo-friendly, and non-comedogenic. I love that clear acrylic right there. Oh, that's a giant wand. Let's take a quick look at the Tarte Shape Tape because this has a really giant wand. That's very similar actually. The Tarte Shape Tape still has a bigger doe foot applicator. Too Faced one has a more angular tip, which I think is gonna be really, really convenient to, you know, shape and map out your contour and highlight and everything. So I've got the shade in Warm Sand. 
let's go ahead and apply that right underneath my eyes i've got the shade in tan and i wish i had the shade tan sand because i feel like that's a better match for me and that might be closer to this one wow that's such a beautiful match for my skin tone and it's blending out like not a problem i feel like this is a little bit more thicker in consistency and maybe even even a touch more pigmented they look very very similar under the eye if you just ignore the fact that the colors are different really so far i'm loving the way my skin looks it looks so well hydrated and well covered it took very very little product for me to get like a beautiful full coverage face beat the hype is real you guys this product is really worth it. The foundation contains 30 ml of product by the way, which I think is quite standard. I see a little shine on both my under eye area, so I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Micro Finishing Pressed Powder and I'm just gonna set both the sides. For blush, I'm gonna take the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. Well, I was supposed to run a marathon today for the very first time in my life. I've never ran a marathon and my friend signed me up for like the 10k like right away. I would have been crawling on the street but it's been raining pretty bad in Kuwait the last couple of days and the whole place is flooded so the run got cancelled so then I was like hey you know what let's sit down and film this video. So we end up looking glam today but the plan was to look dead on the road like this. For my highlighter, we're gonna take the Pixie by Petra Subtle Sunrise. This is one of my favorites currently for highlight because it just like melts into your face. And I like that this highlighter comes with two shades, a deeper shade and a lighter shade. So you actually can build up your highlighter and make it a really two-dimensional. For my lips, I'm gonna take the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Amsterdam. It's been such a long time since I... <laughs> wore an Ofra liquid lipstick was just like buried behind all of my liquid lipsticks in my drawer and the other day I took out all of my lipsticks and kind of organized and put all of my forgotten ones in the front so I can like see them and reach there. I think I need something a little bit more wine so I'm gonna take the one in Mina and let's see mix it up top it off and yeah this is the lip that I was going for. Mm. Mm. Man, the foundation looks brilliant. I love it. This could very well be my new favorite. All right, the time is 12.20 here in Kuwait. Let me catch up with you after a couple of hours. It is 5.20 p.m. My makeup has been on my face for about five hours. My natural face oils have definitely seeped out of my face. I would call it a natural wearing foundation. So I'm just gonna take a tissue paper and quickly blot this out as we speak. It wore really comfortably guys and it really looks the same. It hasn't really faded on my face at all. I am gonna go ahead and say that this is a full coverage foundation. If one pump is not gonna do the trick for you, you can definitely build it up and get that full coverage out of this foundation. I did not apply a concealer around my mouth area so my hyperpigmentation is peeking out just a little bit. It did crease on my smile lines a little bit but nothing that a little bit of dabbing won't fix other than that the foundation looks really really good the blush and the contour and the highlight everything went on the foundation really well and stayed on the foundation really well and now talking about the concealers really quick this was the Tarte Shape Tape and here we had the Too Faced Born This Way concealer I would say that the Tarte Shape Tape is a little bit more thicker and fuller coverage and heavier the Too Faced side seems a little bit more lighter and more natural than the Tarte Shape Tape but both of them have worn really well there is not much of creasing happening do you feel there is any difference between these two sides apart from the pigmentation this side is a little bit more high coverage in my opinion so if you've got that $40 or 18 KD to spend on a foundation, I definitely recommend this Too Faced foundation. This foundation does not accentuate any of my fine lines or pores or wrinkles. I did not apply a primer as you saw in the beginning. And the shade Butter Pecan is a really good match for my skin tone. So I'm really happy with that. If you'd like to see my reviews on other foundations, do not forget to click right here.
Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you've had a good day so far, and I shall see you in my next one. Don't forget all the videos right down below, and mwah!